All right, we're the Swiss and we've gone mad. And even though we have a lot of troops, our enemies are getting hundreds of armies per turn. But multi-attack is turned on, which means we can do this. Send about 90% or so every single time, and we can chain attacks from one territory to the next in a single turn, which you normally can't do in this game's default game mode. Hopefully that should get the job done nicely. I see you stacking so many troops on my borders over there. 205 troops going in, doing a lot of damage. I wonder how many times I can do this per turn. Probably depends how big my initial army is. Seems to be working out well for us so far. Yeah, I think I could have done that way more times than just the five I did there. Luckily for me, they're also fighting each other a lot. But I feel like I could spend 10 minutes watching them slowly attack each other's territories. Let's skip past that once we see what we've done. And we'll know that they're fighting each other over there. Now we're getting eight armies per turn instead of one. And I see 12 here and 14 here. Let's kind of defend up against this a little bit. I think this big guy here is just going to fortify fully over there. I'm worried that Piedmont over here is going to attack Bern or however the heck you say those names. So let's do some transferring around here for protection. And let's have Munich over here invade Austria and give ourselves some more territory and the whatnot. Doing my little 90% attack at a time should be fine to grab this for us. Question is, do I take it further? Nah, that'll be fine. See how that goes. I see that big stack next there. I don't like it. Luckily, I had fortified 140 over there. Ooh, 46 attacking that. That's unfortunate. And you're attacking there as well. Okay, so you're uh, doing a thing called a lot of damage to me. We're losing territories over there. I don't think we can get them back. Maybe we can? Um, no, but we did soften up a little bit. So what I've learned here is we need to defend harder and focus on damaging this box. This is the one that has a lot more territories and a lot more troops to attack me with. Going for the green bot doesn't make sense because it's a weaker one. At least we got that territory. All right, this could take a while. Go ahead and skip this and see the aftermath. That's not good. You're at 155 armies per turn. You're down to 24. And we need to gang up on this stronger AI here. You're going to come and attack this. Let's stack some there for defense in case you go first. Now I'll take this 162 here and hit that with 90% of it. Leave some at home to defend. I guess we can go ahead and conquer Belgium for uh, a slight bonus. Not a big one, but a little bit. And then maybe we try to conquer Francia with my 90% invasion. Maybe we should do like 85 now that we're getting like smaller in size, right? Or 80? I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. First time playing this game mode where you can multi-attack from one territory in a single turn. Hopefully they'll be fine over there. You can help fortify the borders over here. I see that 12 right there over in Hungary. So let's go ahead and invade that a little bit. About 80% should get the job done and we'll just go around and see what we can do. Curse me running around breaking all your bonuses might be more productive, but I like trying to get my own bonuses for funsies. I regret attacking green early though. Should have focused on you. That's 131 troops on my border. There's no way I can beat this dude when he's getting armies like that. Dude just stacked everything he had against me. Well, if I can keep him busy while green fights them, get them kind of even, that is brutal. You're kidding with this. It just doesn't stop. It's getting 165 armies per turn. That's ridiculous. That's more than I have. All right, we got to go through and just break a bunch of your territories. Just gonna do like 90, 95% through like all your stuff. I'm not gonna worry about trying to claim them. I'm just gonna be running through trying to break everything you have to reduce how much income you have. Give Green a chance to fight back against you a little bit. Then I'll try and hold up in a corner of the world somewhere and recover. Is this neutral territory that nobody has here? Why am I attacking it? Go back up here. It occurs to me I could just send 100% of whatever's left and have to leave a bunch of empty ones behind. What am I trying to defend against? I can't defend against their insane numbers. We attack with everything and hope they don't stack anything right there. If they do, we just lose all that. And we go on a rampage. This is actually way quicker to like take my actions too this way. I'm not trying to get territories. I'm trying to break yours, break your spirit, break your bonuses. That's the play. That's the plan. As far as we can go. All right, well, we'll see how this works out for us. I think if we had done this from the beginning of the map, we've had a much better chance of doing well. Troops everywhere. I see that 64 and that 65. Are they in good positions for me or not? We will see. I see that 13 there. That's scary. Ooh, luckily that 56 didn't go for me. Good, they're fighting green. That's This is our chance to come back. Let me know how you like me playing these community levels as videos here. I'm hoping it'll be fun. You guys will enjoy it. Because doing PvP for this game is actually kind of hard to do videos for because it takes like 20 minutes to get a lobby. No, there's like 111 troops there. Okay, don't go to the neutral territories. They are impassable. Okay, this is taking forever. Skip past this. And whoa, what did we miss? We've lost so much. They, that 66 must have invaded me. All right, I'm only getting eight armies a turn. Green's getting five. They're getting 152. We have lost this match. But now we know what to do. Also, their colors changed.
Well, it took a while to path it all out. But we're gonna send this 200 stack all the way through here and over into here and try and take all that out. And then this stack here will go all the way down through here, hit a bunch of this, take out a lot of their Africa, and that should take out a lot of the stronger uh, bots bonuses there. And then maybe they can fight each other a little bit over there while trying to get some territories. And it's gonna take like probably 10 minutes for this to play out, so I'll mostly just skip past it. All right, so let's just go ahead and click the skip button because it'll take forever to play out. And how did it work out for us? Kind of okay. We, they pushed us out of there, the pink bot, but we have pushed through this. We have the British Empire in Ireland and we have Canada basically taken over there. We've gotten a lot of Africa for the moment, so we're looking pretty good. Here's that one army ended up right there. And here's the remnants of the other. We only lost like 100 of our troops doing it. I guess 200, 100 from each stack. And you're down to 83 armies a turn. You're getting 54. I'm getting 44. That actually worked out. We've evened it out a little bit. You're still very strong though. Well, the next thing we need to do is some airlifting. Go ahead and play this airlift card. Move this 112 that's trapped over to there. Maybe over here to help protect the British Empire, right into London. And I'll deposit my 44 troops right over here and begin my rampage through the rest of Africa. Sending 100% seems to be working pretty well for us, so we're going to keep on doing that. All right, we'll send it all the way around through here like this, try and break up as much of theirs as we can, gain some ourselves, and we'll have this 15 stack break up some of you because you're getting strong too. Go ahead and send the orders for that. There goes the beautiful uh, airlift, I think. And this will take forever to play out, so we'll go ahead and click skip. It's gonna be like, even with fast forwarding, it'll take like 10 minutes. But it's such a big map. How did it work out? We did manage to hold on to the British Empire, that's good. Canada is still ours. We lost part of Africa. We also gained part of Africa. And we did do some damage in here to them. That one bot's still strong, getting 84. This one's getting 48. I'm getting 43. We're still in it though. Another airlift card to use here. So go ahead and play this and move this nice big 100 stack over to the front line somewhere. Maybe over to here in Cairo. And I think as we stack a lot here on London and we go on a rampage. I think we go ahead and go through uh, like a lot of uh, Europe over here to work our way into Russia and just all across the world. Break up a lot of bonuses, doing a lot of damage. They're both a little too hefty, a little too strong. I'm not going to claim any bonuses myself here, but breaking there is honestly fine. I'm mostly concerned about this bot. Maybe we try and grab a bunch of uh, Russia. Also, if you have any community levels, let me know what they got. These are some big territories. We might even make it over here into Australia as well as go around the world here, trying to do as much damage as we can. Not sure how long this army will last. Hopefully it makes it this far. Otherwise, it's a whole lot of wasted inputs. We can even try to reclaim Africa. This is well placed over here and try and reclaim some of this. Same with you over here. And you can tack over this way a little bit, try and weaken them over here. Destroy the monster on the board. All right, let's go ahead and see how that works out. 33 troops over there is not super great for my plan to uh, get that back, but the airlift to the front lines over here sets us up for next turn as well. And this again will take forever, so we'll go ahead and skip past and see the damage. We have lost a lot of Africa. That's a bit of an issue. Still have Canada. Still the British Empire in Ireland, okay. And we have done a lot of damage to Rush over here. And yeah, we did a lot of work over here. I think kind of ran low on troops here. Didn't send enough that way, but we're, we're kind of like evening the board a little bit. They're down to 66 armies per turn. They're getting 37 and I'm getting 64. So we're kind of making a little bit of a comeback. I'm going to put all 64 right here in this stack and try and get Africa back. I see we have little stragglers over here need to deal with. Send 10% over there to deal with those guys, 8% rather. Stop them from putting troops there to invade my Africa back. And the rest continues over this way. Maybe the 17 can try and reclaim some of this if we're lucky and they don't stack a bunch of troops over here. And my 99 can go on an invasion, along with the remnants of this uh, 99 over here. Yeah, they're both 99s. All right, the 17 stack is going to go through all the way through all this and try and get the North Africa there for us. And then this 99 stack down here is going to go through all of this, get kind of like the rest of Africa for us and go through here, get a lot of India, come over here and get all of this and work down here. Can't get that back yet. Hopefully they don't stack a lot there for next turn. This 99 stack goes through all of this and tries to get all of that for us. And this up here, well, just good luck to you. I guess I can move these a little bit closer to the front little by little. I wonder if I can like chain transfer. I'm going to try. See if I can get that 10 moved up there to Cornwall. We'll find out. Assuming they don't attack me. I don't think you can, but we'll find out. That's a 53 stack in Africa. This does not want... They don't want me to have Africa. Luckily, we hit them first. So, so much for this guy getting much territory back. That'll help out a little bit. I have no idea where you stack your big troops at, but let's find out. Click the skip button and things seem to have gone fairly well for us down here. Yeah, we got most of Africa. They're mostly pushed out. That's good. We got India as well. They have taken back Australia. And you're over here just kind of chilling, just leaving this alone for us. Nicely enough. You're down to 31 armies a turn. You're down to 42. We're getting 108. It's looking good for us. 
The pink bot is actually stronger. They're taking back Rush over here. So let's put, I don't know, maybe like 50 over here or so to work through this. I'll put maybe 30 or so down here to try and get this back. And some over here and try and push you out of this little region. And the journey begins. Looks like we can only transfer one at a time. The 10 only made it to here. But I can airlift this 97 to somewhere more useful. It's kind of trapped back there. Let's move you over to here, I'd say, to get you back in the action in the future. This 49 is also pinned. Luckily, I have another uh, airlift card I can play. We'll move you over to here to help with Australia in, in the future. If I can talk. Ooh, you might try and get Canada from me if I'm not careful over there. And back to the fighting. All right, a whole lot of clicking later, and we're going to go through all of this, all the way through here, try and get all this, just do all kinds of damage. I've missed a few spots, but it should get us pretty far along, I think. Send in the orders. Tell the troops what to do. Where'd you put your stack? Uh, I see a seven there, a one there, anything nasty? Oh, three there. Okay, it doesn't seem too bad. Airlift it over there for the future. I think it did block that off. Pointless airlift. This one will be good, though. I see you are moving out of the way I was going to attack, so you're going to still be in my Africa. How dare you? But this is going to take a while, so let's skip past all of it and look and see what happened. We did a lot of work out Russia back over here, did a lot of damage to Europe. Oh, you're still, I cannot get Africa back to save my life, but it's looking good. Only 14 armies per turn for you, 10 for you. I'm getting 140, so it's looking pretty good for us. I think this 47 stack should be able to handle most of this. Got a slight problem in here. I think a little airlifting action would fix that. But there's better things to airlift, like this trapped 97. Airlift this trapped 97 from here over to here. Put a stop to you going through there. No more escaping. And let's put a whole lot of troops right here. Stop you from invading Africa quite so easily. I was really sloppy in my attack, and it's going to be a pain to, like, clean up. Well, we'll figure it out. All right, hopefully that should do it. We're gonna go through Australia here. I remember I gotta go over this way over here and get these little hider outer dudes over there. Hider outers, what's that? And finish it through here. And I'm gonna airlift over there to get that in the future. And I got a whole mess of everybody attacking around everyone here, bunch there split in half. And we'll see how we look after all this kind of damage here. Sorry, commentary is weird. Not used to doing this single player custom scenario stuff. I usually do PvP stuff on the channel, but let's mix it up here and try and branch out to beyond just PvP for the channel. Air lifted over there, okay. We'll transfer, trap those guys in from expanding. Let's speed it up here and look at the damage. Okay, you guys have been moving around a lot. Keep in mind, these are neutral territories that we don't care about. Don't need them. Ooh, Africa is in trouble. They must have stacked here and gone and attacked Africa a bunch. We have secured Australia, though. You are boxed in there. There's some guys hiding over here. I love how these guys just don't care about attacking Canada. Like, Canada, yeah, they're, they're chilling. They don't worry about that. But Canada won't be quite so chill as them, though. We're going to fight down there. And I'm going to try and stop you from expanding down here quite so easily. Just put a bunch of troops in all the borders so they're going to work a little bit harder to like chew through them. Stop their expansion. Kind of a guessing game, see where they're going to go. And then we got to deal with this mess. How many troops are you guys getting? 15 and 11. You're making a comeback over there, huh? Well, I'll put maybe like 28 down there. That 15 should be able to handle most of that around there. Take a little bit more. Send a few here to deal with these little stragglers. Maybe a few more over here for you guys. And just dump some more here because why not? No need to airlift to think we're going to be okay here. And in Africa, we go to war trying to reclaim all this lost territory. Should give us that back, hopefully. And Canada goes to war. Going in for Portugal, by the looks of it. How do I get down to this stuff? I have to work through these neutral territories. I didn't stack anything to fight you, huh? Italy survives another round. All right, that should maybe hopefully get the job done. All these lines everywhere. We commit and we observe. Ooh, stack of most of it over here, huh? Three, one, five, one, three. Okay, but I think we skip again because it'll take forever. And I see we have not made a lot of progress over there. Doing fine over here. Oh, didn't get this though. Africa is finally ours at long last. So all you really have left is you guys over here. And then this mess over here that's going to be kind of hard to deal with. Go ahead and get Portugal over here. Aha, no bonuses for you. Get wrecked. You're eating 16 though. So you're not going to get any more troops put down. So the threat is you. You need to pin in your movements. Which means putting all these troops all over the place, which is a lot of clicking. But I have no idea where you're going to attack, so it needs to be done. All right, hope that stops your movements a little bit. And the rest go here for attacking. All right, that should give us Portugal over there. And then this should give us all of this mess over here. And we'll deal with the guys nestled in the neutral territories over there in a little bit. 
That's a lot of troops for us. You're not looking too strong. There. Look at all those troops. We're so strong. Let's get past it. It'll still take forever to go. And nice. We have secured that. We have eliminated the pink player. So we'll stack everything in there and we'll just go ahead and go to war one little bit at a time. Hopefully we don't have like a thousand troops sitting on these. We don't have enough to get through all this. It's a lot of neutral territories to deal with by the looks of things, but we'll try and see how far we get. And maybe we actually observe this one. Ooh, we lost 78 to 111. You don't have too much in there. I don't think we get in one turn here, but we will get some decent damage on it. Looks like we lose 78 to their 111 every time, but looks of things. Do we get all the way through? No. Once more to the breach. And we repeat. 40 are gone. Lose 20 of ours. Can I zoom in a little bit and see a bit better? Yeah, there we go. All right, we're doing fine. Oh, it likes to automatically zoom us out there, but it should be good. The last territory for the win condition, question mark. And there it is. You'll love to see it. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time.